there any part of you that's in disbelief as you're watching that inning unfold? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's hard to foresee a, an inning like that with obviously the guys we got. Um, you know, it's, it was a grind, obviously, for Monty, but, you know, at least got us an, an out um, into the fourth there. And then John did a great job, Holder, of coming in and kind of getting us to the middle of the game and getting to us to that point we needed to get to. And, um, yeah, and then that inning just, yeah, a frustrating inning. What was going on with Adovino out there? It almost seemed like he and Kyle Higashioka were having trouble getting on the same page. Um, I don't know if it was that. I know, I know <clears throat> Holder, when he came in, was having a hard time seeing some of the signs just lighting-wise. So, um, you know, we – but but I think they were I think they were fine. I think he was just kind of slowing himself down a little bit. I believe it was a single single walk single walk before getting to Jansen. Did you consider lifting Holder or lifting Ottavino sooner? No, just because. I mean, we're just up against it, and obviously, um, you know, I didn't really want to even use Sessa and have to end up using him for for four outs, and then. Um, and, and would have even preferred staying away from Clark to get his length back tomorrow, but uh, ended up having to get him in there. So once, you know, once we were short there with Monty, we knew we didn't have a lot of length guys today. So it was going to be our high leverage guys to, to get us to where we needed to go. Next one to Eric Boland. Aaron, you guys said all the right things after the, the rough weekend in Baltimore and the, the message was, you know, we've got to turn the page, play better. How crushing is it to have this kind of a performance coming off of the series that you had in Baltimore? And yeah, not allowed to be. It's just not allowed to be, Eric. I mean, so, you know, we'll say the right things again and we need to um, we need to get past it. We need to play better, obviously. Um you know, we did some good things, obviously, at the plate where we've been struggling a little bit. I thought we had a lot of good good at-bats up and down um, the lineup tonight. Hopefully, we can build on that. And, uh, you know, anytime we get a lead through the middle innings, we'll take our chances at the back end. So we've got to do better, but we have also have to have the ability to move forward. Thank you. Take the next one from Marley Rivera. Aaron, uh, you're saying the ability to move forward. How does this team stay positive uh, in this very long skit? Well, yeah. <clears throat> First of all, we have a lot of really good players, guys that have had a lot of success in this league, and uh, you've got to trust in, in in that ability in that it's going to turn. doesn't mean you, you don't dig in and you don't grind and you don't look to where you can make subtle adjustments to continue to improve and, and put us in a position to start winning games. But um, you got to have that belief. And uh, and that's the biggest thing right now, especially when we're going through a tough time. And you're talk talking about, you know, staying positive and doing all this, but the memory that your fans have is what you're doing lately, right? Like that's, that's the pressure. So, you know, how does one handle that? Because this is a team that, you know, pretty much people thought you had a guaranteed spot in the playoffs, and it isn't that way. Yeah, you just, it's part of being a pro, and, and it's part of being, you know, you know, in this game, I don't care how good you are, that adversity's coming for you, and you've got to be able to handle it, and you've got to be able to deal with it, and you've got to be able to make adjustments day to day, and uh, we'll continue to work to do that. Thank you, Aaron. Mm -hmm. Next one to Tom Merriam. Aaron, do you think there's any loss of confidence among the players after what's gone on the last couple of weeks? No, I, look, I, I think anytime you go through a tough stretch, you, there's times when you probably press a little bit or you're not feeling your best and, and you, and you, and you question some things. But again, I, I go back to, especially with a lot of highly successful players, you're going to go through that in the course of a season. We're going through it a lot collectively right now. And um, we got to find a way to continue to lean on each other, pick each other up, and, and trust that the work we're doing behind the scenes to make those subtle adjustments individually will start paying off for us. Next one to George King. Aaron, uh, how surprising is it to see Green issue two walks like that? Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, that's very uncharacteristic for Greeny. Um, you know, Espinal put a pretty good at bat on him to lead off that inning, which kind of, you know, kind of set up the whole inning, um, fouling off a ton of pitches and then working that walk. So, 
Um, but yeah, anytime Greeny's not, you know, a little bit off command wise because he's usually so good in that regard, um, that's a little bit surprising. Next one to Brian Hoke. Aaron, uh, specifically with Ottavino, what did you see from him? He faced six guys, didn't get anybody out. What kind of told you that he was close to turning it around uh, and didn't rush to go to the bullpen there? Well, I I couldn't go to the bullpen. Trying to just desperately stay away from some guys or, you know, we're going to get into a position player situation. Um, so at that point, where we were in the game with not getting a lot of length, you know, out of, out of Monty, we had to ride with him. And, uh, you know, he's, he's always still one pitch away. I thought his stuff was actually good. You know, he was throwing real hard. Uh, Guerrero comes in and greets him with a block ball down the line right away. And then Guriel on an O2 pitch. Um, you know, I think he hung that slider on an O2 pitch. That's obviously a mistake. And then a couple of, couple of walks. Um, but we, we had to roll with him at that point. 